so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a smart home security system project by using fingerprint sensor arduino and gsm module so you can see on the screen we have the many sensor so before start this project explanation i would like to tell you the same concept the same project i have designed and developed by using the rfid model so instead of this fingerprint sensor there is a rfid model so if you want to design and develop same project by using rfid model then please watch my previous video the previous video link or previous video thumbnail you can see on the screen in this video the concept of the project is same the flow of the project is same only the part is i just replace that rfid model with this fingerprint sensor okay so before start the next part i would like to tell you what will be the flow of this project so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project so you can see on the screen we have the arduino we have the lcd then we, we have the gsm model 900a then fingerprint sensor r307 switch pr sensor and servo motor so basically if any author uh, if any valid user or authorized user scan his finger through this fingerprint sensor then gate will be open and gate will be closed so this is very simple and basic part but we will uh, i have integrated more additional feature in this project so let's say if unauthorized user scan his finger from this fingerprint sensor and that finger the, uh, does not store into this database then immediately this gsm model will send the message to the user unauthorized person enter in your house so like that message it will send to the particular user immediately okay next part is this switch and pr sensor so what is use of this one so let's say if user wants to come out from the home for shopping or anything so what he will do he will enable this security system so once is once he press this switch then this pir security system will be enabled so after he come out from the loop if any unauthorized person enter in in his house without accessing fingerprint sensor let's say from the balcony or let's say from the terrace enter in, in his house then this pr sensor will detect unauthorized person movement inside the room and immediately it will send the message to the user unauthorized person enter in your house so this pr sensor basically used to detect unauthorized person movement inside the home in absence of the valid user again if he wants to go out from the room or go out from the home he can activate this security system pr sensor security system by pressing this switch so this is the basic concept of this project lcd basically used to give some message display like scan your finger uh, invalid user get open get close all this data will be displayed on this lcd so this is the complete overflow of this project now we will see the practical demonstration of this project so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project at the end we will see the connection and we will see the program part so that you can design and develop this project by yourself okay now let's see the practical demonstration of this project so i first remove the power from my laptop so basically i have connected usb to arduino so it will give the power to the arduino so i remove the usb you can see no power if i give the power it will show the uh, project name on the lcd smart security system project and it will ask the scan your finger and if i do any movement here then it will send the message so that part we can see first so you can see i give the power then here it is show home security system project name then scan your finger no finger detected okay continuously showing no finger detected now you can see i have given this number this is the user number there is no message so i will do some movement here so i will do some movement here and movement and i will 
you can see after some time immediately it will detect so you can see someone inside home and here message is received you can see unauthorized person enter in your house so if any movement detected inside the home you can see continuously someone inside home again it will show another message again i will do some movement here you can see continuously message is coming now let's say if valid user enter valid user scan his finger so this is the valid user finger this is finger i have uh, i have store this finger having one id and this finger i have stored into this database so once i give this finger to this sensor then gate will be open and this security system automatically disable because valid user enter into house so you can see now i will scan my finger so welcome door open you can see door open door close now the valid user inside the home that means this pair sensor automatically this pair sensor security system automatically disable now if i do the any movement here now if i do the any movement here it will not send any message to the user because so no need to send any message to the uh, to the valid user you can see there is a there is a no message you can see only last message is received now what i will do i will again enable this security system from here you can see if i press this switch then this pr sensor security system again enable and here also show the message uh, activated the security system so once i press the switch again security system activated that means valid user come out from the home so now if i do any movement here then it will send the message immediately you can see someone inside home and you can see now message trying message continuously receive on my mobile number you can see now here i am doing the movement you can see live it is giving the message so likewise this is the complete idea behind this project now the last part is pending like if what happen if i give the unauthorized finger so if i give unauthorized finger then it gate will be not open and it will send the message on the user right now you can see there is a message i will delete the message from here so i have deleted the message there is no message from the rahul on this mobile number i will give unauthorized finger so in your finger access now wait for some second it will give unauthorized uh, access message also you can see the message received unauthorized person enter in your house so this is also one part so i hope you understand the complete overview of this project i hope you understand the complete overview of this project practical demonstration of this project now we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the programming part now let's see the hardware connection so you are wondering why i have already connected all this hardware here i am not explaining this connection of this hardware with the arduino because in my previous video rfid model video the same hardware each and every same hardware with the same pin number i have connected and i have explained in detail in that video so please watch that video and from that video try to connect lcd try to connect lcd sim 900 servo motor pr sensor switch model with the arduino only do not connect the rs uh, that rfid model because you don't have that one so you just connect all this hardware there from that video i already explained there now only the extra part in that video we have to connect this uh, fingerprint sensor r307 with the arduino it is very simple okay now we will connect this model to the arduino so basically when you purchase this model you can see the model number uh, there is a pin number already given on that model the pin number is 126 we we will use 1 2 3 number pin only fifth and sixth we will not use so one number pin we will connect to the vcc that is 5 volt two number pin we connect to ground that is the arduino ground then third number pin it act as a tx pin of this sensor should be connected to five number pin of arduino and fourth number pin from this sensor 
act as a rx that should be connected to six number pin of arduino so very simple connection first number pin the color code may be different at your case but pin number it will be same so first number will be vcc that is red then second is ground that is a black wire okay then after that third number pin it is my yellow color that should be connected to fifth number pin of arduino and the green one is my fourth number pin that should be connected to six number pin of arduino so this is the very simple connection now the additional change in change for this project is in my previous video maybe i have connected uh, gsm model rx pin to the arduino 4 number but do not connect to the 4 number for this project please connect gsm rx pin to the arduino 1 number pin for this project i again repeat i again repeat gsm rx pin should be connected to the arduino 1 number pin that is a tx pin it is mentioned here tx pin gsm rx pin should be connected to arduino 1 number pin for this project that is one little different for this project as compared to the previous project okay let's quickly uh, start the program explanation so before start the program installation it is very important you should enroll your finger uh, in the fingerprint sensor so how to enroll i will tell the steps just follow the step so first steps is you have to connect the hardware as per my uh, as per my steps that i told in the previous chapter how to connect the hardware then after that you should connect your arduino with the your laptop okay then after that you have to open my previous video the video name is electronic voting machine project in that video there is one chapter program explanation open that chapter once you open that chapter there will there is a steps to install that library to enroll your finger so with that one you can enroll your finger make sure that while enrolling your finger do not give the number fingerprint id number 9 and 2 why i am telling 9 and 2 that i will tell i will tell you in the program so do not enroll the finger with id 9 and 2 other any number you can use so that step you have to follow again i will repeat you have to watch my previous video electronic voting machine video to enroll your finger hardware connection should be same as per this video not electronic voting machine project video okay so this is one basic step you have to follow okay once you enroll your finger you can download this my code from my google drive link so you can download this my code from my google drive link uh, or web page link after download double click on this uh, folder or open the arduino software so this is arduino software you can double click here if you don't have the arduino software then please watch my another video the first video on the arduino in that video i told you how to install that arduino software the video thumbnail you can see on the screen some basic step you have to follow because i am not telling the step again and again here because it consumes the time so i will to i already told that step in detail in my previous video there is no option you have to watch that video okay so once you open the arduino software go to the file click on open button so once you click on open button go to that folder where you downloaded my code so this code fingerprint sensor code home automation fingerprint sensor and open the code so once you open this is the basic code that we are using in our project so i will tell you quickly there is nothing much big in that one so first is we have so first is we have added some library here which is required for our project then lcd we have uh, defined here then button pin we have defined two three four number pin five six is for our fingerprint sensor so whatever pin number you are using we are defining here then some variable then first we define all input and output pin some board rate we have defined here you can see then we are attaching our servo motor then fingerprint sensor board rate we are defining so these are the some basic step that we have to follow first then uh, servo motor uh, angle we are taking to the 20 degree 
and the initial that's why we define here then we are printing on the lcd home security system uh, this is the message <coughs> we are printing at the starting on the lcd in the void loop you can see scan your uh, scan finger to unlock the door that matches we are displaying by using this four line then after you scanning the finger you are getting one id if id is 9 that means it is your invalid finger so that that's why i told do not enter enroll your finger with the 9 id because that fingerprint sensor uh, library uh, having working like that if you give invalid finger then it will give 9 in the response so for that one you should not give 9 number while enrolling your finger so if you give invalid access then it will check the id is 9 yes then it will show on the uh, lcd invalid access and it is activating our system and sending the message to the user so this send message function will call so here you can see this is the function send message function so here you have to change your mobile number here this is my mobile number but instead of this one you can change your number so i will give star 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 here so instead of star star you have to change the number do not delete backslash front slash double quote any not do not delete anything just change the star star with your number that's it only then this is the message if you want to change the message you can change this message as per your reference so this is the some basic part so once the id we have, we are printing invalid finger on the lcd then we are activating our system then we are uh, sending the message if id is 2 that means no finger detected that means there is no scan on the finger so that's why you should not have the 9 number and 2 number id while enrolling your finger then after that if another id is detected let's say valid id is detected so if the valid id is detected then welcome door door unlock message will you print on the lcd and you will start the server motor from 20 degree to 180 degree then from 180 to 20 degree that that means open the server motor and again close the server motor that code is here it's very simple just sending the position on this servo right one by four loop i have used then after that but instead this is the function which i already told in my previous video that video name is uh, rfid based home automation system so i will tell you quickly here so button state we are reading the button state we are checking if button is high yes system is active already no it is not active then we have to activate the system you can see here and then security system activated message printing on lcd if already system active and if we press the button then we have to deactivate the system so here you can see system security system deactivated security system flag is zero that means it is deactivated so once it's active then we have to deactive once it deactive then we have to active so that logic is here for a single button and another logic is pr sensor you can see pr sensor we are reading the input and we are checking whether pr sensor is uh, system is our first our security system is active yes and if the pr sensor detect since first we detect whether our pr sensor detect the person yes it is detected then it is come to the else part then it is checking whether the security system is active or not if it's active then we have to send someone inside home and sending message again function will be called someone inside home will be print on the lcd so this is very simple and easy code you you, you will easily understand uh, <coughs> after reading code one by one line uh, this code i have i have i haven't explain because this is inbuilt code which are uh, already added when you use the adult fruit fingerprint sensor library that's why i i did not explain you this code whatever i have added from my end that i already explain you uh, so this is the part of this project i hope you understand the program i hope you understand the hardware connection i again repeat to enroll your finger to install this library then you have to watch my previous video of RFID uh, home automation system project uh, in that video I told how to enroll and how to install this library so yeah I hope you understand the complete process I hope you understand the video and you like my content if you like my content please click on like button please subscribe my channel please support me thanks for watching this video